My name is Anthony Allen, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be talking about a free plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 as many of you have been asking for more free plugins of Final Cut Pro 10. So I've got one for you here today and I've got many more on the way and this one is available at Leno FX and it's called Flat Transition. Yo, let's join forces, hit the subscribe button. Okay, so here we are inside of Final Cut Pro 10. You can already see that I've got some stock footage here in the timeline. That stock footage is what we're going to be using to showcase the plugin that we've just uh, introduced. And right now, what we're going to do is we're going to find our plugin. That's the first thing to do. So it was a transition. So let's go into the transitions instead of the effects panel. And we also want to make sure that we're not searching for anything. I was previously searching for a mask that I could draw over an image. We don't need that. Just press delete in the search term if it's there. Uh, at this point, you want to go into the transitions. And you will see that it should be named at the side right here. So we're looking for flat transitions, the Leno FX flat transitions. And let's click onto that. And here we have the plugin, the free plugin of what's actually given to us when we download the free plugin available at flat at, <laughs> at uh, Leno FX. So it's as easy as just dropping it into the timeline. Here's one. What I'm going to do actually at this point is I'm going to duplicate this a few times so we can uh, showcase uh, different um, samples of the transition rather than just one. Uh, so there we go. Just a quick uh, duplication there. So we have circles. Let's see what circles look like. If you run your mouse across the transition, you can have a preview. You can have it. Uh, you can scroll it fast or slow. See the preview of that transition. We also have elastic. That looks quite cool. Elastic. Now each transition obviously will have a different duration. So it will depend on how long the piece of footage that you're tra uh, transitioning from and to. Um, so obviously some transitions will have a ripple effect and so forth depending on how. Uh, long the transition is and compared to your media uh, for example let's choose a slide down here we drop this in and we're going to put it on top of the smallest footage which is here you can see that it says and gives us a message that says there is not enough extra media beyond clip edges to create the transition do you want to overlap aka ripple trim your media to create the transition this will decrease the total duration of your project. So basically, what's going to happen is the transition is going to take up some of the footage as the footage is small. The transition has a, a default um, duration. Uh, so obviously, the duration of the transition is going to take up some of the footage. It's asking you if you want to do that. And obviously, this is going to make your project length, the whole entire uh, video that you're creating, a smaller size. So if it was two minutes, it could be five seconds uh, shorter than two minutes or so forth. So I'm going to click create transition. So you can see that we've given the transition on both sides of the media. Let's have a little sample of what this looks like. Wow, for a free plugin, that's absolutely amazing. And it goes really, really well with the uh, panned movement that's going on with the stock footage there. And you can see it transitioned out as well. So that was one. Let's have a look at another because there's quite a few here. We also have a pixel slide. That's quite cool. Let's put the pixel slide in. Again, it's asking us to uh, create a ripple effect, a ripple trim uh, due to the fact that the media source was a bit too small. Let's have a player that, see what it looks like. Oh my days. So let's see if we can go inside that transition and we can change the colour. And we can. You see we clicked on there now and you can change the colour of that transition. There was a yellow. I can actually select, I don't know, some of the blue that's here. And that will change that to blue and white. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Yeah, buddy. And we could go a step further and we could actually go back into the transition and change the white to maybe something else that's in the scene. For example, this little blue here, here. And you can actually have a look at it while we're doing it as well. That looks quite cool, that does. Let's have a play of that. Yeah. That's a quick transition right there. It completely matches the scene due to the fact that the uh, screen saver that's on the screen of the, of the Mac is like near enough the same stylistic approach. It's a circular sort of pixel blur, if you will. Um, so it really does match. And obviously there was the original. Right, so let's have a look at another transition that we get with the flat transitions. There's a push to the slide to the right. There is a slide up, a slide down, a slide to the left, 
and there's one called fan. Now we'd use fan as well. Let's, let's put that on the bigger piece of media this time. Still might create the ripple effect because the other media that we're transitioning from is small. So let's have a look at that one. What happened to my voice? I'm going to do that. <laughs> So yeah, obviously these aren't rendered. Always remember to render if you're not using uh, automatic rendering. Always remember to just uh, select that and uh, modify and render selection. And the same for the other side as well. Just want to uh, modify and render selection. Uh, it should take about two seconds. There's the loading icon there. It's just finished up. That is completely rendered. That shouldn't buffer now when we play it through on the timeline. Let's have a look. There we go. Looks sweet. Now for a free plugin that's amazing, another one that we've got here that we're going to have a look at before we end up the video is Lesenge. Lesenge. I'm going to call it Lesenge. You're <laughs> going to create that transition. Let's have a look, let's have a quick look. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So there we have it guys, that is a free plugin that is available at Leno FX. I will leave a link in the description down below, so if you want to go and check that out yourself, then definitely go and check this out, and you can download and have these transitions available for you today. Obviously we've got the circle one and the uh, elastic that we just didn't have a look at, so... Uh, but you can have a look at that yourself and you can download it yourself and you can start with this plugin today from Leno Effects. Thank you for watching this video here on Anthony Allen Edits. There is a free plugin for you there to download for Final Cut Pro 10. We have many other videos coming to the channel as well as I upload to the channel regularly surrounding three different niches, gaming, editing and software. So check back here again and we will most definitely have a video in one of those three subjects that you want to check out. Thank you for watching. Oh, oh, oh.